Hello YouTube, this is Asatsu5 and I got a very special Colombian River knife and tool. Um, <laughs> it's not really an unboxing. I did an unboxing video where I unboxed uh, several packages and three of those packages are related to each other but not necessarily this. But I thought this deserved its own video. So um, anyways, this is a special Colombian River knife and tool. Very nice box and it's magnetized so it stays shut then what do you got you got Clement River knife and tool uh, sticker or decal and you got um, a stat sheet and then you got a pouch but before we open the pouch let's look at this take the little silicon beads out you got a hinged box that uh, has felt on the inside so you can reuse this box to store a stuff that you don't want scratched even if you decide to use and abuse the knife and I thought that was awesome but we got this Clement River knife and tool pouch I'm thinking to myself wow that's a cool pouch I'd love to put my fountain pens in there I'm keeping a journal and I like to use fountain pens this would be perfect for that but what's in there well we open it up and we got a, I don't know if you can read that, a Clumman River Knife and Tool um, um, microfiber cloth. I don't know if you can read that. CRKT. But what's in there? You can read it a little bit better right there. But you got the Clumman River Knife and Tool Redemption. Yes, that's an epic blade. It's beautiful. And it got G10. I think the stainless steel boasters. And if you look at the boasters, let me see if I can get this to focus. You can see that it has machined lines in it, kind of like the G10 has lines. Uh, this is made in America, Magna Cut steel. Magna Cut, kind of like my uh, Protec, which I also love. And, um, you got a reversible pocket clip. This has no uh, mechanism in it other than the um, ball bearings and the um, um, crossbar lock. And you can pull on that crossbar lock and fidget with it, or you can uh, kind of sling it out like that without the crossbar lock, or you can have it in reverse grip and sling it out. You can get to work if you want to use it as a tactical knife. Um, but also, I want to point this out. If you want to use this as a tactical knife, check this out. This is single edge. This has a swedge on top. Now, difference between a swedge and a false edge. False edge does not mean fake edge. False edge is just the opposite of the true edge. The true edge faces down or out when you hold it in a regular grip. False edge, if this was sharp, this would be a false edge. That would be a back cut or, you know, kind of an up and ripping cut. It would be a, a double-edged knife. And now all double-edged blades are, have a false edge. But some single-edged knives have a false edge. And that's just when it's sharpened at the upper portion, not the whole edge. But I want to point this out to you. This is a swedge. Now when you close it, none of the swedge or the back of the blade is exposed so you know what that means i know someone um that uh on in the knife community know what that means that means that you can if you want to and have the skill make this into a double-edged knife which i would just love to have this in double edge and it's legal where i live so it'd be awesome it'd be a double edge um you know uh, dagger now, um, some of the inspiration of this knife, as I'm told, and it kind of looks like it, is, is of a 19th century boot knife or gambler's dagger, a hideout dagger. And I think it looks a lot like that. Uh, and it has kind of the coffin ha handle blade shape. Very beautiful. Um, but um, anyways, it, it, I love historical weapons. I love 19th and 17th century weapons. I love a lot of old weapons. In fact, um, that's kind of where I got my start was uh, looking at uh, uh, historical weapons. 
uh, and how they influence the uh, modern weapons. I love the historical uh, meets, uh, meets uh, neo uh, uh, kind of fusions. You know, you have a historical concept and you mix it with modern materials and techniques. I just love that. And that's what they did with this. And it's a beautiful knife. It has kind of a stonewashed um, uh, blade. I don't know if you can see that. But um, I am very pleased with this. Uh, yeah, just cool. This would also be a beautiful single action OTF knife if they wanted to go that route, which they would have to change a lot of things. So it wouldn't look exactly like this. But um, yeah, you got a beautiful pokey thing. And it is also, let's see if I can sh show this. Uh, really sharp. There we go. So, beautiful US made dagger, gambler's dagger, hideout dagger. And it has the potential to be modified to double edge. So that's it, that's the video. I love the presentation and packaging of this. It's all multi-use, you can reuse the box to store things that you don't necessarily want uh, scratch. You can use the pouch to store things like pins. You got a microfiber cloth, which I can use for my camera or the knife. And obviously I can use the knife. So that's it, that's the video. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm a Satsu 5 and I'm out.